Got a nice fire going. Someone wanted to see what kind of stove we have. It's a Sierra. It's a 100,000 BTU in the barn here. Next to where I make the videos. But I wanted to bring you into the greenhouse and show you uh, some of the seeds we planted a week or so ago. Plus, it snowed. We got about three inches overnight. And take a look at the ice we got down here. It's like an ice skating rink. But we did get some snow last night. Looks like about three or four inches. You can see Graham walking in there. Whoa, and it is icy under here. All right. So let's see what's going on in here. Oh, it didn't steam up. Good job. <clears throat> so because it had we had a storm last night, it didn't get that cold in here. The low is uh, 43. It's currently 55 in the middle. Right here. And so we've taken out some of the tomatoes that were going kind of dormant and freezing up here. We put in radish. And you can see those babies are popping. This is a, a Baker Creek Easter egg radish that we grew last year that's completely completely amazing there's white ones and pink ones red ones icicles and all different types of radish so we got those going here we got those going down in the lower greenhouse and we got some uh, oak leaf lettuces here or green leaf lettuces that we seed saved from last year and those are coming up and some of the look at that that's a radish that just decided to come up on its own Pretty nice, and there's another one. You can see we still have some uh, tomatoes that we're producing in here, but it's getting very limited. And they keep getting smaller and smaller and more and more delicious. These are tiny little buggers. Look at that. Mmm. Oh, yeah. And so, succulents are doing great. Begonias, that was like begonias a little hit there. Apparently it doesn't like to get down as cold as it is in here. But most of these succulents are doing amazing. And we got some uh, medium sized tomatoes here that are still ripening. But for the most part, tomatoes are done and we're gonna get those out. So that's a nice one. And sometimes we'll take these off a little early and let them ripen on the shelf because they may fall off and then just start to rot like this one. We'll just leave that down there on the ground. We got some carrots in here still we've been harvesting. And the kale looks, well, it's fantastic. Look at this stuff. Huge. Uh, no more insect problems, no more uh, aphids. We used to have huge aphid problems. Problem. So this greenhouse, this environment in here is coming into its own. And what I mean by that is the integrated pest management that we have in here is working. Plus it's cold. And look at all those tomatoes that will self-seed as soon as we chop and drop this when it gets warm enough. Look at this beauty I got back here. Didn't even notice. Beautiful poblano. Purple. Wow. So, not a bad harvest for late January right there. <laughs> See, we got some more tomatoes ripening on the shelf. And so that's the state of the greenhouse. Radishes are popping, lettuces are popping. Everything's looking fantastic. What are you growing? Share this with like-minded people. Be safe. We love you. Nee -nee -nee.